Welcome back to another episode of Moments with Me, Murph. So today, we're going on a trip. I was looking for a great guest. I called an amazing girl, and she wasn't um, available. So I called my next best thing, called my best friend. So, hey, go ahead, tell me who you are. Hmm. Okay, well, hey guys, I'm Lanaya. I guess I'm back up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into a topic, and that is... We're gonna talk about if women actually like the truth. Because there is a lot of women who be like, oh my gosh, tell me the truth, just be honest, but then when you tell them the truth, they get mad. So, let's just start off with, do you like the truth, and do you always want to be told the truth? Okay, well, for me, uh... My thing is, I have a bit of a problem with constructive criticism. However, over the years, I've gotten better because I know that's something I'm going to have to deal with, you know, in my adult life, career life, you know, and it's just to make you better as a person. But I think really it depends on, you know, the female, whether they, you know, want that constructive criticism or they just want to hear, you know, what they want to hear. I don't know, a lot of y'all females are kind of emotional, like, y'all, it, it, it's, it's kind of hard to describe, because, like, again, like, y'all are just emotional, like, one thing, you want something, then when you get it, then you don't want it anymore, and then you get mad that you gave it, but that's what you asked for, so it's kind of like, as a guy, we be kind of confused, it's just like, should I just not, you know, be involved, not answer your questions, not do anything, but then somehow y'all still get mad off of, you know, unresponded questions, like, why is that? I think maybe because some females, maybe the truth that you give them is not the truth that they're expecting. Like, it's not their preferred version of the truth. And I know some females, they have a problem with people being straightforward or blunt with them. Because then they'll probably take it personal. And again, that ties into us being emotional. So, again, I think it depends on how the person takes it yeah i just think females are crazy honestly right. <laughs> well i wouldn't say we're crazy but <laughs> right i mean you'll defend them because like i guess you're one but the <laughs> yeah, see, but, the shot <laughs> but like my thing is okay so we can just say that you know people don't like being lied to right okay okay but isn't it okay to lie to some people if it's fair in the feelings especially in a female standpoint Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Um, Cause sometimes lying to, you know, anyone just to spare their feelings. I mean, there's good in it. However, it is like still lying and maybe sometimes it's better just to say the truth because you don't want to get caught up in like all these lies because you're trying to cover up this one thing and then it just blows up into something even bigger than what it was initially was. I don't know, guys. I think we should just keep lying. I think it's you know, much simpler, much easier. Now, that's if you're a good liar. If you're a bad liar, do not attempt lying. That's something you do at your own risk. But if you, <laughs> if you are a good liar, I think you just really got to weigh the options based upon like who it is. Because I'm not going to lie. I, I tell people I don't lie. I tell jokes. And which is true in a sense because like I don't really lie because I like being truthful and I like to preach, you know, how honesty is the best thing so I can't be a hypocrite. However, I tell a lot of jokes because initially if you ask me a question, it's probably going to be a lie. Now, that lie means that I'm going to tell you the truth eventually, but just in the moment that you ask, it's probably not going to be the truth. And that's only because I have to think about who am I talking to. And just in this aspect, like, again, some females don't really want to hear, you know, the, the truth, you could say. Especially, like, just, like, think about it. If you ask, if she asks you, like, oh, my gosh, does this dress make me look fat? Mm -hmm. Like, if you're smart, if you're a smart guy, and let's just say it does, you're going to say, no, you look great. But you're going to give some tips on why or how she can, you know, make it look a little better, make it a little decent to where she's not thinking that. But... If you're unsmart, you're going to be like, uh, yeah. And then guess what's going to happen? She's probably going to punch you in the face, right? <laughs> it's like, you really got to weigh the options sometimes when it comes to making these decisions. Because, like, you don't want to stir up a problem. So, like, there's good lying, but then there's also bad lying. Like, what would you say? 
okay well in that instance i mean if i were to try on a dress and i asked one of my girlfriends like hey this look good on me good color good fit like what you think so i think I mean, I don't know if I'm speaking to like any other female, but like if I'm talking to one of like my best friends, like I kind of expect her to like hype me up, like yeah, girl, you look good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like hearing it from like another person that you're not so close to, or you know, someone you don't really speak to, and they say, "Oh, you look like horrible." So then in that instance, I might think like, "Like, are you?" In I might take it the wrong way. Constructive criticism, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I mean, because again, like, as I tell my friends, like, I'm brutally honest with them just for a simple fact, because I tell them that no one else will. And if okay. I'm mean and I'm brutal, but I care about you, like, you're not going to care about what anyone else says, you know, about you that's negative. Plus, it helps build, you know, that, that, what you want to call it? It's a callus, they call it. Right. Where you get that that mindset where it's like I don't really care you like you can't hurt me you know what I mean right but <laughs> even though they ask for things like that but then they still get mad when you be when you're truthful with them and that's something just I don't understand because like the thing is like the one thing like when it comes to truth like there there should be a, um, a purpose behind it mm. like the same as like lying but like honestly the truth like the truth is to help better so mm -hmm. I think if you're being truthful but it's not making them better then that's when you sometimes got to weigh the option of like should i just continue to lie to them mm -hmm. because apparently me being honest isn't making them happy mm -hmm. so maybe i should just like let that go so i don't know like what, what, what would you what would you say in a sense of like just trying to you know keep somebody on the happy side or keep them in good standings with you because like i see that sometimes when you don't agree with a female it's almost like playing with fire and you know you don't want to get burned like <laughs> like what would you say I mean, well, that kind of goes back to what I said earlier as far as, like, how the person is taking it. I mean, if you're saying it in a way that, you know, can benefit them and you're just trying to be like, hey, like, I think this, you can do better in this or, you know, showing some type of, like, improvement. But I feel like if you're saying it, like, downgrading them or like kind of low-key insulting them then i mean then that you have to know like how to separate the two well can your friend like degrade you and still be considered a friend did you mention that now in that instance i would take it as you're jealous of me for some type of reason and you just want to see me like fail my bad fast because <laughs> it's like if you're like constantly like frowning your face up at me or always got something smart to say or like oh i could do this better or I like females <laughs> or like oh i've seen somebody else do it better than you or like you know what i mean like in that instance i'm like so do you have like a personal vendetta on me Whereas if I'm doing nothing but uplifting you, but you, on the other hand, are trying to, like, be in competition with me or you see that I am some type of competition to you. So that's how I would take that. Hmm. Yeah, because it's just like, <clears throat> I don't know, again, I think with, like, some of the, when it comes to the truth, like, you get a, a bit of competition, you, you can say, because... This is one of the instances, like, even like from a guy's standpoint, where it's like, when you lie to someone, especially to a female, it's like, you you kind of do it at times to make them, you know, you can say compete with themselves. Like, if a girl says, oh my gosh, like, I got this dress and I look like this, and even though she looks amazing, I might be like, oh, you look all right. And mm -hmm. she'll be like, excuse me? Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> like, I'm only telling her that she looks all right so she can keep pushing past that like yes you look great you look good but i don't want you to settle at that that standpoint because i want you to like do better and you know mm -hmm. keep you know reaching your full potential mm -hmm. now, the only thing the, the drawback with that is sometimes i take it like way south but let's just say like one day you see her in a nice dress hair done decent you know shoes or whatever i don't know if i'll be wearing i'll be wearing like 30 pairs of shoes in one day but like she got a nice attire and you tell her she looks all right 
But then the drawback is the next day you see her, she might be wearing all black, black lipstick, <laughs> black fingernails, just glasses on in the in the building. It's just like what? <sighs> like what happened? What happened? <laughs> but again, that's like one of the instances where it's like you can't get mad because it's your fault. <laughs> just because like trying to you know uplift them, you kind of didn't set them back. So it's like I don't know. Like when when it comes to females wanting to hear the truth, it's kind it's kind of interesting because you really gotta like. Uh, you gotta play with it. Yeah, and I can agree with that. Cause some people, they can take it as growth opportunities. So I'm all about growing and reaching your full potential. So if you tell me something that I can do better, and like, hey, you're doing a great job, but this you can improve on, this, this, and this. Like, okay, so I can take that and be like, next time I can do this better. Whereas other people, they can take it as, wow, guess I'm never gonna be good at anything i'm never good enough and i'm just a failure at life let me just you know Drama what i mean queen. Queen. Yeah. <laughs> so it all depends on what you do with it and you take it and run with it interesting interesting so here's a <laughs> here's a common one or not a common one so when it comes to cheating like do women really want to hear the answer of yes i cheated on you or would they rather have their feelings spared and be like no nah, i'm no i ain't doing none of that don't worry about it Ooh, that's a touchy one right there. Now, see, because females, Crazy. we be Crazy. investigating, you know? <laughs> Super, Nancy Drew, Sherlock Holmes, all of them. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, honestly speaking, no, we don't want to hear that, you know, your boyfriend is cheating on you. However. However. <laughs> however. <laughs> If you do have like a gut feeling and you just want to just investigate things and you find out on your own, then some females may be like, well, why couldn't you just tell me and we could have just ended the relationship or worked something out? You know what I mean? Maybe he still wants it though. He still wants it? Yeah, he still wants it. <clears throat> you know, he cheated by accident, you know. Accident? Yeah, he just accidentally fell asleep or something. <laughs> Little situation, situation, but he didn't tell you because you're who he wants. So, was that not in his mind when he accidentally slipped in? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just might have been one of the weak moments, you know. Maybe mm -hmm. he was, you know, drunk. Maybe it's been like three months, four months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so there's, there's, there's options. So, are you justifying? I'm giving you an example so, <laughs> to help better your answer, you know, you can get the, the real scenario. I can't just be like, oh, yeah, you know, he was just like, um, I like her. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, you know, do her and then go to my wife or not to my wife, you know, given an option of different scenarios because different things play in different ways. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. I see. <laughs> Y'all see this, right? <laughs> but yeah, like, honestly, either a male or a female, they don't want to hear their significant other is, you know stepping outside of their relationship but at the end of the day you can respect the honesty like instead of hearing it from somebody else and it went through like 10 15 people and like you're the last to know Ooh. so i mean i can res i can kind of respect the fact that okay you were the one that told me and i don't have to hear from anybody else and then we can talk about it and see what we're gonna do after that so <clears throat> another scenario then like let's just say he cheated right you have no idea no one has no idea and y'all are good like we're talking you know down the line nothing ever been you know mentioned everything is good now would you take that over him telling you oh yeah i cheated and now y'all got an issue mm. like in what scenario would you prefer if you asked him you know did you cheat but you can't find any records that he did Well, one thing that I don't want to do, I just don't want to go around accusing, especially like if I don't have like any evidence or any proof. Females don't need no reason. <laughs> They're like, I think, I think, mm -hmm, him, his date. But I mean, in that instance, if he, if that was a genuine mistake and he regretted it and he doesn't want to mess up, you know, the happy home, then I mean okay for that situation because you don't want to say okay so listen like 
three months ago, I had this little situation with this chick and whatever, whatever happened. Accident, right. And then that's gonna, <laughs> and that's gonna, you know, create issues. And I mean, if y'all are happy, then, I mean, I okay with that. All right, so like, if y'all were good through that time period and then, you know, months later, then he confessed, like, mm. do you build up that feelings of, oh my goodness, this, that, or other, or do you just let it rock? See now, okay, that's like mixed feelings because we've been good for so long, and then now you want to tell me that it's like, then I would feel like I wasted some time because you wasted if, some anger. <laughs> that was, that's what you was waiting on. You wasted some anger. So if y'all was good, you ain't wasting no time. You was having time in your life. It was like, sheesh, I can marry this man. But then it's like, Ooh, yeah. but it's like, dang, like. It made me feel like, what did I do to make you want to go cheat on me? Maybe you made a bad dinner. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, uh, mm, that'd be crazy. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like guys need a reason, don't need a reason. Like it kind of depends on the the male. But a lot of times, like that's just one of those those thirty second feelings. Not so much looking deep into you know where things could go it's just like one of those here here moments you know what i mean mm -hmm. but it's like i don't know <laughs> i don't know because like just in my experience it's just like it's kind of hard to really decide whether or not to be honest sometimes and the thing is again because like i don't like lying because right. i preach that honesty is the best policy and one of those what do they call them um uh cliche models there we go mm -hmm. so and i mean in a sense it's true but it's like again like if you are a female who says to be honest to me and then i be honest to you mm -hmm. and then you get mad at me for being honest to you so uh, basically you got mad because i gave you what you asked for and it's like what are you asking for mm -hmm. so it's kind of like i don't know like for the guys out there like what sense of direction would you give talking to like guys yeah like if you got if you had to give guys an advice on whether or not to be honest when you know the girl is crazy or to lie to her to spare her feelings like what would you suggest <clears throat> i suggest lying <clears throat> <laughs> well i would say if you want to talk to your partner about like anything like anything in general um I wouldn't wait until months or years down the line. Like, if something is bothering you or you feel as though she's not reaching her full potential or she's not, you know, improving in certain areas, I would say don't let that accumulate over time. Because if you just let it continue going on and on, she's going to think it's okay. And then months later let's say you want to say something about it then she's going to be like look at you like kind of weird but i feel like if you say something in the beginning then maybe she won't take it as hard right. i guess you would say All right so guys if that chicken is seasonless you tell her the day of you do not wait two months while you've been sneaking behind her back trying to throw some seasoned salt <laughs> and some cajun seasoning just to spice oh, the food up you tell her asap rocky that that's an issue if that will, you know, later on, A, spare her feelings from keep wasting meals or, you know, keep wasting her time while you're doing things behind her back and just <laughs> fix it, you know, <laughs> immediately. Because, like, yeah, like you said, like, I think the initial, you know, fix can solve a lot of issues down the line. Right. And if you are, if you know your girl is crazy, <laughs> A, you want to make sure that's who you want to be called your girl. Two, you want to, uh, or B, you want to make sure that again you talk about these things up front i got a friend who's um we're not going to i don't call him shallow but he's a little shallow but not really shallow so like he likes his women a certain size you can say right and it's not even from the aspect of he liked them like that size but he knows how important health is so he tells like any female that he gets um <clears throat> involved with early like a we're gonna do this. Like, I like to run, I like to jump, I like to go work out. You can be along with that, we can keep you at this shape. But if you don't, then 
I'm going to A, tell you again. <laughs> and then if you're, if I see you're not really trying to work on it, then I'm going to just go ahead and step away. Why? Because I see that you don't take your health as, you know, as significant or, yeah, important as I do. Mm -hmm. And like one person, oh, one person you don't, um, or one thing you don't want to do is really try to take, you know, somebody else's life more serious than they take their own. Mm -hmm. Because like, they control their life. You can control a portion of it. Not really, though, because it's their life. But it's like, if you have a say-so or a hand in trying to fix things, don't be the one to have the whole hand. Like, you can have a nice little piece to help someone, but don't be the one that's really trying to help pull and motivate all the time. Like, some, mm -hmm. they're not going to always be there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you got to really help build somebody up, but for their own sake. Mm -hmm. Which makes a lot of sense. So, I guess in the instance of... Do women like to like the like the truth or like to be lied to? Um, for my smart guys, you like to lie to them just to get things out the way. Oh no! <laughs> just to get things out the way, but no, honestly, like if, it, if again, if she's crazy, make sure you tell her the truth from a good distance. You want a good six feet, like it's COVID, you know? Because if you, I got some friends who are some swingers, and I know how to keep my distance before they like to sprint and try to hit me. So. Know A, how fast your girl swings and, or your friend, and B, know how fast they move. So you can decide how much distance you need to be apart. <laughs> if they don't take uh, criticism lightly. But honestly, just make sure you always keep things up front, straight, clear cut with them. So this way you don't run into any issues. This way she can't get too mad. <clears throat> because, like, again, this is where I take notes. Like, when you get a girl or you got a friend, Take a little notepad of them and take down exactly the things they say where they be like, hey, I want you to tell me the truth always. You pick, you make a notepad of that and you don't have them sign it then. You show them later on when they used to get mad at you for telling them the truth and be like, no, 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 this is exactly what you said. You said, be a real friend, tell you the truth. You show them their, um, what their request is and if they get mad, then again, they're just crazy and you let them be. But <clears throat> overall, try to keep it 100. That's like the best policy. Mm -hmm. Just... Being upfront, honest, you know, it'll help in the long term. Unless you did something like real bad. <laughs> We're not even talking about cheating. Like, it could be like real bad or just like highly uh, unacceptable. And things have been going good. But if you go be honest, then you might stir something up in the pot. If there's no record of it, let it rock. I'm not telling guys just for the record to go out and go cheat and keep it under a record. Mm -hmm. What I am saying, though, is <clears throat> if there's an issue and it has been a decent amount of time period, no matter what it was, like, let's just say you crashed her car and let's just say she was in the hospital or something like that. So you didn't see it. She didn't know about the car being crashed for six, seven months. <clears throat> so you got a car or I'm sorry, six, seven days. So you got the car crashed. You got a car fixed. If there's no issues, don't bring it up. Months later, I'm like, hey, yeah, babe, guess what? You know, I crushed your car like a few months ago. Like, that's stirring up an issue that wasn't, right. you know, asked for, called for, needed. So, mm -hmm. if there is nothing huge going on, or if y'all have been good, even past the issue, just let it be and just take note to do better in the upcoming future. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any final remarks to our people? <laughs> All I gotta say is just. Make good decisions. Be up front. <laughs> Be up front. <laughs> and just live a happy life, guys. I'll contest to that. So, I thank you guys for listening in. For those watching the YouTube version, you see me laugh a lot. So, yeah, it's hobby. <laughs> yeah. But I thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys tune in for upcoming episodes and if you are starting at this one listen to the previous episodes and just stay consistent and we will catch you in another one <laughs> <laughs>